from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, but when I came to Australia, no one knew how to pronounce my name, Petitier, so they gave me Harry. <laughs> It's, it, it, it's actually quite funny, but when you think about it, it's quite sad that I could not express myself in the way that I naturally was, that I had to change my name. So my whole life, I've grown up, you know, some of my earliest memories from school, I remember coming home from school and just, black people know that when you scratch your skin, you go ashy. I remember trying to scratch all of my skin so I could be white and so I could be normal. I used to say to my mum, mum, why can't I be normal like everyone else? Why, why was I born? I used to pray to God, why can't I be normal? Why can't I be white? So for me to be in this room with other black people, and not just black people, but white people, but people from all around the world, from Caribbean, from the motherland, Africa, from England, Brazil, my homeland, from everywhere, to be in a room where people, where I feel like I belong, is one of the most empowering things, and I know that's what tonight is about. One of the most empowering things I've ever done in my life. And I know for a fact that this is the beginning of a journey, this is the second time this has occurred. No doubt next year will be an amazing, even greater. And I, I can't wait, because I really feel something happening um, in the world at the moment. We're in crucial times. Um, People are becoming more evolved, consciously evolved. You see the amount of um, you see the amount of yoga centres that have opened up in the last five years. The amount of organic food stores that are opening up. There's revolutions happening. You see what's happening in Spain. There's there's change occurring, and I seriously believe that Africa and African people will be a driver of this change. So thank you very much for this opportunity. And, uh,